All right, Larry, you've done a pretty good job keeping the rabbit away. Now what are you gonna do about this mole? What's that? Now nah, I got a better idea. All right, Larry, go to work. I'll see you tonight. What's going on, guys? It's Master Horticulturalist and YouTube superstar Paul Outlaw here. I got like 15 subscribers. You can't mess with me. It's just exciting for the people at home, I'm sure. Nobody watches this crap anyway. Everybody, please go subscribe to Paul's Prime Cuts on YouTube. It's a lot of fun to watch your videos, Paul. You're probably one of my uh, top five YouTubers to tune into. So, What's going on, guys? Today we're going to do a super quick video. Um, we're putting out pre-emergence on our warm season grasses here for the last well, week and a half, maybe. It's the, uh, it's the first week of September. Well, it's going into the second week of September now. But uh, we started a little bit, might have done one or two at the end of August and then ran really hard uh, last week getting them out. But what we generally do is we'll split the application for our fall pre-emergent into, into two doses to help prevent uh, root pruning or root clubbing. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna put out slightly more than half of the rate and my end rate that I want to go for is uh, one pound per acre. I'm using a prodiamine uh, water dispersible granule. Um, I'll show you what that looks like. And if any of you are keeping up, I don't have my trailer, so I lift part of my gear at home, so I do not have my scale. You really want to try to weigh this stuff to be accurate, but since this is the first application in my split, uh, split attempt here. You don't really want to, uh, another note, yearly maximum on something like this for the entire calendar year or for the entire year would be uh, a little over two pounds, two, 2.3 pounds, I think, on some of this warm season grass. So we don't want to exceed that, but generally my applications are per season, my end application, one pound each. So I, I, I don't really generally exceed two pounds. But anyway, I'll show you a little bit about what this stuff looks like and how I'm gonna uh, jack leg it to do it without my scale for, for this application, but the next one, I'll definitely have to weigh it. All right, stay tuned. Okay, here sitting on top of the PPC Total Turf Deluxe Sprayer is, uh, this is Qualipro Prodiamine, and it uh, is 65% Prodiamine, and it is in a water dispersible granule. You see what that looks like right there? And it has this vibrant color that gets all over everything. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill this beaker up to 12 ounces. That is going to be fluid ounce measurement. So it's not meaning that I'm getting 12 ounces by weight on it. So what I'm going to do is mark in my book that I put 12 ounces by fluid measurement in my book and when I come back from my second app I'll dump 12 ounces in one of these beakers and see how much it weighs but it's gonna be I'm guessing slightly over half a pound guessing don't know we'll see but then after I get the weight on it I'll get that second uh, application which I'm gonna do a month and some change from now and dial it in precise by weight to get me one full pound application. All right, I'm gonna put some water in this and mix it up before I put it in the uh, in the tank here. And I'll show you what that looks like. I gotta set this down for a second though. Hang on. Okay, I put some water in it. And I'm gonna mix this up for quite a while. I'm not gonna bore you with how long I'm mixing it. Oh shit. Um, but um, they make these little mixing things for paint that go on the end of your electric drill and that'll really get something like this stirred up easily. But you really want to make sure you get it dissolved well before you put it in the tank because it'll just clump up and go to the bottom. All right, I'm having a hard time doing this left-handed, one-handed. I'm making a mess. I poured the uh, the mixed-up prodiamine into the into the PPC Total Turf 5000 Deluxe sprayer, and I can run a agitator on it, so I got it uh, where my pump is just flowing and recirculating back into the tank, mixing this stuff up. If I'm gonna go ahead and take the effort to spray the yard, I like to try to put something else in it. I hate to spray just one thing at a time. I just I just feel like I'm not that productive. 
but uh, what I'm gonna add into this is a little shot of my sweet liquid sea kelp fertilizer and I'll show you a close-up on that I think some of you have probably seen it before if you've watched some of these videos the uh, thing about any time you're spraying fertilizer out of something like this you want to be sure that uh, if, if there's a lot of nitrogen in it that your spray volume is high enough to uh, to be safe to put that nitrogen on the yard if you're spraying at like permagreen volumes that 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 quart per thousand or, or whatever that thing sprays at, I, I I'm not sure because I don't own one but I think you'd be a little dangerous squirting nitrogen on the yard but uh, temperatures too you don't want to be up in that high 80s to 90 degree range or you're gonna gonna blow up the yard with with spraying liquid nitrogen on it but anyway I'll show you my sweet liquid sea kelp label and I'll talk a little bit more about that well first I'm gonna dump, dump this right in the right in the hopper right in the tank Okay, this is it. This comes from my hair and it's got sea kelp in it and a lot of miners. I don't know if the tag's really showing up or not and plus it's been riding around with me for a little while so it's all beat up. But uh, it's got the micros in it. That's the micro amp package that they offer and the system pack is the, the sea kelp. And uh, I guess it's just an all around good product and it, it goes out at a relatively low rate so it's, it's pretty economical. So I like that stuff. All right. Anyway, we're going to fill the tank the rest of the way up. Um, this is going to be an acre load in it, and I'm going to have two acres about here to spray today, so we're going to run out two loads. But uh, I'll fill it up about three-quarters of the way full, put my products in there, and then cap it off with water to make it up to my line that uh, what I know will give me my gallon coverage on my particular sprayer. I said gallon coverage, didn't I? Acre. Acre coverage. Acre. I built this uh, sprayer. I think some of you might have seen the video, but I had to change up some things. This right here is a tremendous pressure point because this 25-gallon uh, tank when it's full is heavy. But this is the biggest, heaviest spring shackle I could find, and I went ahead and doubled up my surface area with my with my steel there so it wouldn't rotate as bad. But the first time I went out and used it, I had a smaller shackle. And just one piece of steel there and the first time i went down a little hill and hit the bottom the uh, tank rotated yeah. okay i know this is loud but i'm just gonna try to show you a little something i'm i'm spraying this and there's a big area out here so if you're not keeping up where you're going it's kind of like being out at sea you can get get lost on what your spray pattern was but my mowing direction is like that so they're tracks in it that way but I'm going across the mowing direction with my spray, and I don't know if you can see it on the video, but I can see it pretty good here. The, the track's going across. I'll butt up a couple of feet from that uh, track in there with my boom, with my boom a couple feet away from that, and that's giving me the overlap that I've learned that works best with the sprayer. Okay, right now I got a uh, tank for acre number two in there percolating and mixing. But uh, the reason I decided to do this uh, short video was one of the subscribers, uh, Jay at Jay's Crazy Cuts. He's got a YouTube channel too, check him out. But uh, he asked, he, he's putting out, he bought some prodiamine that he wants to put out and he was asking about uh, rates and application timing and all. With a pre-emergent, what you want to do is beat the uh, germination time for your particular weeds in your area. So this could vary from part of the country to part of the country what we're doing right now with this fall app is trying to uh prevent some of these winter annual weeds the only kind of weeds that are pre-emergent are going to prevent are the annual weeds that come up from a seed that is dropped on the ground um so you know your perennial stuff that's just in a root and is going to come back every year and spread it's not going to stop that so it's not the be all end all to weed control but the uh winter application we make of a pre-emergent what we're going to do in uh, uh, january february -ish is pretty crucial for crabgrass control 
and, and that's a biggie. But what the pre-emergent does is it lays down a barrier on the ground that's gonna keep those seeds that are in the ground from germinating. But anyway, Jay, I hope this video somewhat answers your question. But also on Sunday, what I usually do is uh, check to see if I had any YouTube comments come in during the day that I haven't had a chance to answer yet and answer them in the video. So let's see if we got something. I hope I do. Be embarrassing if I don't. I have to come back and make something up. Okay, fortunately there are a couple up there. Thanks. Um, we got uh, Back to Nature Palms. They had more of a statement. He said that, uh, thank you for this too, buddy. Um, said that they got uh, tree crews down in Florida where he is and they might be planning on coming up this way if we get some hurricane damage. So I hope you don't have to come, buddy, but I, I appreciate what you're doing. Um, then we had one, uh, man, I hope I don't mess your name up, but I, I should have wrote it down. It was team one underscore one underscore jump backslash headstand i don't remember but anyway he had a great question about the bobcat quick cat he said he's uh six three and he feels like uh he doesn't know if he's gonna fit on the thing i'm uh six two and i went from a right which the control panel is more upright to the quick cat and the quick cat does have a little bit lower control tower on it and that's probably my guess due to the fact that you can flip up that foot panel and walk behind it like a walk behind if, if it was if it was a little higher from the platform once you flip that up and got on the ground you might be up here like you were had some ape hangers or something on your harley but uh yeah you might want to uh uh team one you might want to uh see if you can uh demo one because it, it is a little bit lower um, my initial impression of the machine when I got it went from that to a right was that I, I did feel like I was a little low on those control panels but after I got used to it it really was not anything that that bothered me at all and I really do enjoy that Bobcat quick cat and I think it's a great mower so uh, I, I don't know it might be different for you but I, I adjusted to it just fine and I didn't have a problem with it but anyway there's your Sunday answer a question in the video segment well, attempt to answer a question. All right, guys, that's just a little bit of something about uh, these fall pre-emergent apps. I hope you got something out of it. Um, anyway, hit that like button, subscribe. I always appreciate you watching. And uh, don't forget, we got a thousand subscriber giveaway coming up if we can get to a thousand subscribers. I don't know, um, might be a little ambitious, but uh, so far, we've gotten a great uh, Bobcat 72-inch uh, mower t-shirt to give away. Uh, Meharan hat. Um, Chris Elms is going to try to get us some Walker wear, some Walker t-shirts to give away. Uh, I've got uh, another guy, Jeremy W. He says he might come up with some uh, black nitrite gloves that are good for chemical handling and that kind of thing. But uh, when I get those, I'll I'll do a little video to show you about those. Uh, that, that'll be pretty cool. Um, anyway, I appreciate some of you guys uh, reaching out, wanting to uh, contribute to the potential, hopefully, happening sometime in the near future. Thousand subscriber giveaway. We'll, we'll, we'll give the old college try. I got to make some better videos though if we're gonna <laughs> gain any subscribers. Anyway, guys, I appreciate y'all watching. I'm going to try to drive home here without running over anything. It's uh, opening Sunday for NFL football, so if I get this video up, I don't know if anybody will see it. It's tough to compete with the NFL for ratings. I'm just a little long guy here. Thanks, guys.